What's going on everybody? It's your boy Payne. Welcome back to another Final Fantasy 7 Ever Crisis video. All right guys, story mode is out. I just completed it. Hell, I recorded a 45 minute video and I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody gonna watch me narrate in my sexy voice of Sephiroth and the cloud. So I decided not to put it out. Instead, I finished it. I'm gonna show you guys what to expect. Roughly, if you decide to read everything and do the whole story like from top to bottom, narrate like a, like a fool like me, 45 minutes is what the content is about. Not too bad to be honest with you. I know a lot of people are gonna skip it. It's going to last you 12 minutes and you're going to be like, damn, that's it. Read the story. If, you, if you've read it a thousand times, though, whatever. I mean, you can skip it if you want. Do what you want. But a couple things to talk about real quick. New chapter release, which is going on now. We talked about co-op battle for Ramu is coming out. This one's going to be tough, guys. Okay, so make sure you are ready for it. Water weapons, uh, proper gear, proper setups. Shiva was already tough enough for a lot of people, guys. Don't make this harder, but it is going to come out in two days on the 21st at 9 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, four and five star weapons are going to drop like hotcakes on this, and you can get yourself a ton of Ramu shards to finish up Judgment Bolt or Thunderlance if you're working on it. So expect that to drop on the 21st, coming very, very soon, and it's very limited as well, guys, so remember that too, right? Also, another big news. Uh, character level is now at 60. New dungeons have been added. We've talked about this already. Um, here's another one. Pre-order, Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. It is out for pre-order for quite some time now. The release date is February 29th. Here's what's going to happen with me in this game. I'm going to take a whole damn week off, and I'm going to just stream it for hours on end, uh, and hopefully just get the game done. That's the goal. My kids are going to be in school. My wife's going to be at work. I'm going to do my best to just stream the crap out of this and hopefully get it done in a week uh, because I can't wait to play this damn game. So Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is going to happen then. So as I mentioned before, uh, storyline content if you don't want to see this okay like I said I recorded 45 minutes of me narrating this whole story and I'll like I fear I feel I feel like no one's gonna watch it so I decided not to put it out okay so anyways still have the video we'll see maybe in the future but for now if you don't want to see what happens after you're done don't watch this part okay three two one the extra compilation after you complete this is going to give you a, a new battle and it's against a new mob that we've never seen before and that is a green dragon that does poison damage. You need an 80,800 cloud. Uh, I'm going to try to do this at a little lower and try to get this icon because it looks pretty cool for profile picks. Okay, so there's that. Um, two other things I want to talk about real quick. Solo content. The mercenary request. The new uh, weapon parts request for 2 is out. Remember, I did a whole video on this. If you don't like the weapons that are in the comment drop section, click reward set and you can change the weapon parts to whatever you want them to be. So make sure, guys, you are doing this, okay? A lot of you don't know about this. Maybe some of you missed the video, but you can change these to be whatever you want uh, and then you can put the parts in that you're looking for, okay? So that and then do this, you'll be, you'll be in good hands after that, all right? So there's that going on right now as well. The one thing I do want to though see is a couple things here. So enhancement quests, remember, the premium quest, there is currently a increase in character EXP and in rewards, okay? So make sure you do those now. I asked you guys to save that. Materia, same thing. Rare enemies are now available. Chance to require, uh, encounter a rare enemy. Uh, what is the rare enemy right now? Let's go back. Let's go back to notices. Is it a regular cactus or is it a... Mm, where is that? Where is that information? Here, maybe? Uh, no. Nope, nope, nope. Not there. Let me go back. Did he even tell us what, what it is? What is, the, what is the rare enemy? So, new chapter release. There it is. It's a, it's a freaking metal character. So, more EXP, okay? So, definitely, definitely do that. It is going to be lasting until the 26th, okay? So... Um, all the solo content has it right now. What I want to see, though, is the difference between the brand new character EXP 7 versus the brand new EXP or the old EXP 6. So we're going to run a 7 right now, and we're going to see what the difference is between this and the old version. Okay, so we're going to run Thunder Build. Uh, here, we're going to just change this because this, if I recall, this, this mob is actually immune to... Uh, fire damage so we're gonna just give her her regular limit break and then we're gonna go ahead and run this okay so let's see guys we're gonna check out the damage the difference between exp that's the main thing I want to say I hope I don't get a character in this one I mean it's silly to say because I, I I would want a character but for the sake of testing we're gonna check out to see what the difference is in the exp and if it's worth farming this time wise versus farming the other one okay and remember stamina obviously is gonna matter they take the same amount of stamina, if I recall. I think 15 each. Okay, good. No, no characters here. 
We're gonna let this run on auto, guys. We're gonna just try to do this as quick as we can, okay? So the power difference is about 30-ish K, maybe a little less around that. Uh, so let's see what the difference is in EXP though, because I would imagine from 55 to 60, it's going to be a massive amount of EXP required. Probably a couple, I'd say a day or two of auto click farming or, you know, weeks of regular farming if you don't have an auto clicker. Okay, so here we go. Boss time. Let's see how much damage he does. Okay. We're going to defend here. I mean, dying fairly quick. This is, again, this is a free-to-play account, right? So it's really not taking that long to kill this thing. I'm pressing it on, on its behalf, by the way, right now. Okay, dead. Here we go. EXP. I'll go back to stage six to see what the difference is, okay? So how long did that take? That took a minute and 34. Okay, so a minute 34. Not bad. For 20k EXP. 20k, okay? Let's go back and do the times one version of the sixth stage. Okay, and see what that gives us. Again, if there's a capture, I'll exit it just because. Okay, so it's one more stamina. So stamina, actually, the other one's probably much better. Um, stage seven, right? Let's just see again, though, comparison. How long it takes, how much EXP we get, if it's worth it. Of course, if you have a ton of stamina pots, this one might be worth it if it gives just a little bit less EXP, but is way faster to farm, right? So, all right, guys, here we go. So no characters this time. Sorry, I, I had to edit out the last one because there were two characters that popped up. It's going to skew the results, right? So we're looking at 20k EXP on the on the stage 7. And we want to see how long it took about a minute and 34 seconds. So we're going to find out here how long this takes. Without characters, this is stage 6. And we want to see if it takes less time or how much less time it takes and if the EXP difference is massive, okay? Okay, Tifa's being targeted. It's not a problem though, really at the end of the day. These animations honestly cause a lot of the a lot of the lag and the kill time. Okay, he's almost dead. This is almost taken, I would say, close to the similar time. So Let's see what EXP is worth here. So one less stamina, right? So yeah, only uh, 12 seconds less. And stamina, or EXP, wow, 7k EXP. So yeah, definitely guys, do 7. Do 7 for sure. It's, it's going to be worth it. So I, again, just wanted to test to see what the difference was, okay? So that's that. Let's move over to the next thing, if you plan to do it. Personally, I, I don't think you need to rush to get to 60, guys. Some of you may want to rush, and, you know, it'll help you progress through some of this content, like be, being able to be, beat this uh, this rune EX1. A lot of people are waiting for level 70 or level 60 in order to do it. So I know that's that's a big that's a big push for a lot of folks. Um, what was the last thing I wanted to do? Oh, yeah, dungeons. Okay. So you guys can see here, uh, Calpine Caverns, Mount Nebel are open. Uh, so the green dragon, oh my god, the ostrich. Are you kidding me? The ostrich is stronger? you got to be kidding me here. Uh, Levricon, mud shower, and stone throw. Okay, so, and then the dragon here, you need to have um, uh, poison Asuna, right? So Asuna poison. So make sure you have that. So two easy ones here to kill, 90k, not too bad. Uh, and then if we go to, to the crisis dungeons, I actually got to finish the like all of these back to 100% at some point. Uh, we got the Shinra building at Very Hard, and then of course we have the Mount Nebel now opened up to give you guys some more challenges. So a couple things to note here. Um, first time rewards. Usually we have a recipe kicking around here. There it is, probably D-Faith. D-Faith, there you guys go. Finally got the recipe. It's out now. So get on this, guys. Finish up the normal mode. Get that recipe out of the way. 
and you got yourself something that you can use through almost every battle and some more mithril ores here guys and then of course i'll make a guide on the very hard modes of both shinra building and the very hard modes of mount nebel there you guys go all the events going on now this is Payne. hope you enjoyed the video i'll talk to you guys in the next one take care